let me understand you. You're proposing to double our premiums on every one of our practicing attorneys. We know this is abrupt. New issues have come to light. New issues? You mean Mr. McGill's testimony at the bar? That's a part of it, yes. After 25 years of paying full premiums, I can count on one hand the number of our claims. This is an underwriting decision, that's all. You shouldn't take it personally. In some special circumstances, we have been known to extend a rider. What kind of rider? A senior management level partner who would supervise Charles' work, attend court and client meetings with him, review filings. The few times we've done this, it's been for clients with a high probability of catastrophic health failure as a precaution. What you're saying is that for any case Charles takes on, another partner would be tied up as well, and we don't bill a penny more? This is ludicrous. The insurance industry is heavily regulated. I can think of a dozen infractions right here off the top of my head. Mr. McGill. You're hoping we'll either find another carrier or cut you an enormous check. Win-win for you. I assure you, neither is going to happen. What will happen is very simple. You're going to do right by us or we will compel you to do so. What do you mean by compel? You know exactly what I mean. If you're threatening litigation, I'm afraid this meeting is over. Then it's over. Thank you for your time. Mr. Hamlin, Mr. McGill. Where do we begin? Francis should start digging into regulations. I'm sorry, I don't have the code sections at my fingertips just now. Let's pull a team of associates and get them looking at every angle of injunctive relief. Before close of business, we're going to hit Santa Rosa with a demand letter that'll make their heads spin. Odds are, inside a week, they'll be sitting at the table again. And if not, well, we've never shied away from a fight. Chuck, do you remember Al McConnell? Of course. Hell of a litigator. Retired now, isn't he? He's a professor at UNM now. Wrote a fantastic book on SCOTUS during Reconstruction. Fascinating stuff. Okay. I was talking to him, and he mentioned he'd love you to come speak to his one else. Maybe make it a regular thing, if you wanted. What are you talking about, Howard? What I'm saying is, maybe it's time to hang up your spurs. Become partner emeritus. Leave your name on the firm, but focus on your legacy. You always said you wanted to work on the Commerce Clause. You can write the book on it. And no longer be a practicing lawyer. Chuck, there's more to life than this. That day is far in the future, Howard, and I don't appreciate the suggestion. What if it's not a suggestion? Meaning? Meaning if enough people tell you that you're drunk, Maybe it's time to sit down. You want me to retire over this? The insurance? It's not just the insurance. That's the straw that broke the camel's back. So this is about my condition. Look! Look! You see? You see? I'm better! Howard, I'm fine. This is not what fine looks like. <laughs> Chuck, you are the best legal mind I've ever known, hands down. But your decision making has become unpredictable. I can't be partners with someone whose judgment I don't trust. Chuck. Sure.